Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Please be sure to subscribe to see more videos like this. I wanted to do a different area of my house today. Usually I shoot in my office, um, but I'm changing it up as uh, variety is the spice of life. Anyway, we're on quarantine, lockdown. Everything is shut down from COVID-19, from coronavirus. So right now the excitement I'm getting is not from going out in the city or traveling to my next destination, but going to a different room in my house. Anyone else in the same boat here where that's the excitement? Um, again, it's just such a different world. I figured um, I would stop all the original content I planned to do, and I was going to do more of um, a vlog series. I know some other people are doing that right now, and I figured it was relevant and time for us to share in our feelings what we're all going through as this is affecting us on a global level. Um, so I wanted to discuss a little bit about what I've been going through, um, the prep, this is one week, okay, one week quarantine, so I figured let's just get right into it. If you have any comments, please feel free to comment below. And again, look behind me, I got New York City. It's not the same New York City that we're used to. It's pretty empty out there, um, which is good. We need to stay home, flatten the curve. So right now that's what we're doing. We're, we're all in this together. Um, whether you're in you know, New York, LA, Australia, doesn't matter where you are, we're all doing the same social media, the same hashtags, quarantine, this and that, because we're all fighting the same fight to get rid of this virus and to get healthy and also to get our earth healthy again. Because I think this right now is like a reset where we're completely you know, bringing the earth some love right now and less pollution and less mass production. So we have to look at the positive side. Um, so I figured let's go ahead and get the conversation going. I wish this was in live time. Uh, anybody who follows me on Instagram or follows me um, on Facebook or TikTok, um, it's a little bit more interactive there where you can constantly comment and I'll see it a little bit quicker. We're now at the end of week one. Um, everyone's quarantine, I feel like, started on a different day. I've been watching other people and, you know, some people are like on day 10 or day four or day six. Uh, we are pretty much at the end of week one. And I wanted to film uh, first at the end of week one, just because we're gonna have a better understanding of where we are, how much longer maybe that we're gonna be in this. It seems uncertain right now. Um, we're all just kind of day by day with the news and with the updates. But um, immediately it was very surreal. It felt like a movie, a very obviously a bad, bad movie where we don't have the full story. Also, there's conspiracy theories. Did this originate in a lab in Wuhan or is this from bats? Who do we believe? Where was it from? There's so much conflicting data and emotions. It's hard to know when you have the intense media propaganda, you know, or is it real? You just get this intense heaviness from the news. I think we all have felt that where it's a very negative place. So I'm hoping here, at least YouTube or, or Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram or if you follow me on TikTok, Facebook, uh, we can create a positive environment, hopefully entertain each other, lift each other up. I know entertainment's important right now. I mean, we got Netflix right now who everyone's kind of relying on as we're Netflixing and chilling to the next level more than we ever have. But I feel like right now we're forced to slow down. We move so fast. In this day and age, we're constantly moving, going. We have appointments, work is priority, and we never take a moment to breathe. And right now, it's as if we're being forced to stop it and to breathe and remember what's important, what can we live without, what's urgent, what's necessary, and what's not. So we're being forced. It's extreme measures and it's everywhere. It's not just one country or one person going through something. We are all going through it together. It's also heavy. I feel like um, I've gone in waves emotionally. Maybe you have too. I've had some days where I'm like, this is positive and beautiful. The earth is obviously showing its healing as we can see in Venice with the canals and the dolphins and the clear waters. But I've also had days that aren't that easy where I'm not feeling as positive. You know, the other day it felt like everything was going wrong. I was like, my Invisalign trays, I don't have the rest of my trays. They're sitting at the dentist's office. Who's closed? How are my teeth going to be straight? Um, you know, what are we all going to do when we fall apart? You know, our hair, nail, all this stuff, none of that matters, right? It's all superficial, but they do come to surface. I shattered my phone screen and I'm like, Apple's closed. These 
things, they don't matter. And I think in quarantine, you realize that, but I think everything hit me at once. And I was like on my bed crying, like, when is it going to stop? You know, when can we go back to normal life? Will it ever be normal again? We don't know. There's so many questions that obviously have come to my mind and I'm trying to just adapt and be as, you know, fluid and flexible in this moment and slow down and also get creative with my time considering we can't be out and about we are home Milo's home too and you know we're figuring it out together um I know for me having you know sometimes anxiety issues I don't know anyone else who has anxiety but it's definitely on a heightened level right now with everything happening I feel like it's harder to go to sleep I'm obviously obsessed with news at the wrong hours of the day when it needs to shut off and close down shop so to speak and just focus on you know calming down in, in this intensity and and allowing this time to be a healing time. Um, one thing is a tool I did get from Amazon the meat and the mail in the is this EFT manual. Um, this kind of shows a little bit of a technique. It's a tapping technique that helps a lot with anxiety and when you have obsessive racing thoughts. Um, I recommend getting this. I'm going to be reading this during quarantine a little bit. I don't know if you guys know a little bit about the tapping, but there's certain points and it kind of resets the brain. And we'll go more into the science when I discuss that book um, in detail when I get through it. I have some other books that I'm planning to read. I feel like it's a good time to read right now. So I have Liver Rescue, The uh, Medical Medium. I've heard so many great things about this and I've been meaning to read it. I think I read like a chapter and then I slowed down. I didn't make time for it because I didn't have time. Now I have time. So I have this book. Um, I have a lot of books. Oh, let me shake that up there. Hey, let's you know that there is a tribe on there. Then I have 1 million followers. This is more of a social media book, uh, how I build a massive social media following in 30 days. Again, not like it's like urgent and they'll be all, but it's entertainment. It's something to learn. It's also part of a tool. So if you are looking to grow your social media for work, for business, we're having to now get creative. I mean, it's a scary time where we don't have normal businesses and income revenue flowing. We're at historic lows with the market. I mean, the stock market is crazy low right now. I mean, it's a good time to buy in. I'm thinking of buying in for the first time ever and just taking some of my savings to hopefully build a future for myself. But we have to get creative. These are times where it's not gonna be traditional. We're doing more virtual offices, virtual meetings, and figuring out how can we make more money maybe online or how can we adjust our business model so we can still survive in this time. Um, that's scary. And we're also hoping that there's going to be compassion with mortgages and rents to stop and maybe bills being less pressured of due dates because this wasn't by choice. We didn't just decide, hey, I'm going to stay home in my pajamas all day. It was, no, this is a decision made for us. So we need to come together as a world and help each other in this tough time. Um, I have a few other books. Those were the most important. Um, another thing is hydration so i'm going to drink a lot of water during this as i think it's important to stay hydrated our health right now is so important we right now have to keep our immunity up there is a virus out there that can affect anyone and it's scary you can be out there and still keep your distance if anyone wants to know six feet of social distancing you put your arms out and i'd say it's about that all the way around you you know in a circle um you never know if you can get sick and i think now we're even paranoid like the second i have a, a sniffle a tickle in my throat or whatever i'm immediately like do i have it i mean how many other people are, are freaking out right now um if they have it and and if someone around them gets it and some people don't take it seriously you got those jerk spring breakers who still went and they said don't interrupt my party time i mean the parents need to just stop that that's disgusting there's no words for that but you have some people that don't take it seriously and um, right now whether we know the answers or not we do know that social distancing helps um, so I'm home I'm trying to be creative we don't have a gym membership I figured I'm gonna do a video where I mention some of the things that I'm doing to stay healthy I definitely have noticed a little bit of my double chin coming back because I am not as on top of it and perfect as I need to be because there's been a couple emotional days and I wasn't pristine on the diet because there are some moments when you're like, is the world ending? Like, should I just enjoy the pizza? Um, so it is a battle. Like we're trying to figure out how healthy, you know, or do I splurge a little bit? When is this going to end? What is our plan? And 
we're really living in a time where we don't know the answers. So um, for now, I think being healthy is good. I'm gonna show you guys some healthy meal prep ideas as I get in the kitchen. I love to cook. You guys know that with my recipes. You can see it on my website, realwithray.com. I have a lot of recipes to share with you and meal prep ideas of how to make your food last because we gotta stock up but also make sure we eat enough to keep energy up but not too much because you don't want to go through all your quarantine snacks in one day like the memes and have no food after. Um, I'm also going to discuss workout. I have a hula hoop that I put together because hula hooping for me it's fun it's great you go in front of the tv or if you have your phone or whatever else and you just start hooping and it's actually a great workout especially for the core. Um, I ordered a lot of things. I got a little crazy. Maybe, Milo, would you say mommy got a little crazy? Maybe. Um, I ordered a far infrared portable sauna. Um, I got this thing because I love going to spas and doing infrared sauna. I feel like, I feel like it helps me so much. Um, I love sweating and detoxing. So I decided, let me bring the spa into my own house. So I'm going to show you guys that. I love the device. It really heats up nicely. The electromagnetic field, so the EMF. I got an EMF rater, so I'm going to um, be rating the sauna and letting you know if I think it's safe radiation level. It's hard to tell. Everything has radiation, right? So I'm going to see if that's a good way to detox at home during this quarantine. Um, also, other gym equipment I got. I got it all on Amazon, so it's all shipping in the next few days. So I'm going to go through my workout routine, how I plan to stay fit during this time. I know there's a lot of amazing trainers out there who are giving free workouts. I think that's great as it is a time to help each other and give ideas of how to be creative and sweat at home. I ordered a step machine from Amazon and when that comes in, I'll link it. And I got a, a bike, a recumbent bike, and it has some resistance bands. I got other bands to do booty workout to keep the booty good. Um, I got weight so I can weight train. I mean, I definitely got a lot of stuff. I'm gonna show it all once it comes and do a whole routine if that's something you guys wanna see. Um, and I think it's just also a time to sleep more enjoy family time how often do we really have the whole family together i definitely think it's a lot i think we're going through so much right now and i i want to hear from everyone else all my subscribers please subscribe to the video and support you know everybody at this time as we're all trying to survive um but i do wonder the direction it's gonna go